These are the only two technologies that I use. This is the Tides app and Great Depths. It's great while you're on the water too because it'll tell you exactly where you are and how deep the water is. Look for rocks like this. It goes from three feet and drops off to almost 20. Make sure there's good current and that's great for blackfish and most other species. This is the jig I'm using. One and a half ounce chartreuse and orange. No matter what it was, I made a promise that I would throw back my first keeper. 50 pound uh, spider wire braid. Stealing my bait. I mean, it was in the same hole. I'm anchored up pretty much in the same spot. That looks like the same fish. me a couple hours just to find that same spot that I was fishing you know the day before these guys are hiding in a little hole down there I've been catching blackfish on almost every side of this island but little crevices like this are what really seem to be producing so fish every rock in your area until you find the fish that's what I did in the area I used to fish and this is brand new water to me it took me two days to find a spot, and I'm not giving it up. Keeper, something's wrong. Let him go. I want to 
keep them really bad. <laughs> he swam right out the hole in my kayak. That was awesome. That was epic. Second legit keeper I thrown back this year. That one was a male. My next one I'm gonna keep. And I just found out that camera has a 4K setting. So I've thrown two keepers back, so I think me and the fish guys are squared away now. I'll try to hide the hook in there. These guys definitely have good eyesight. Catching them on shrimp is a lot different than crabs, because the crabs they'll hit and you'll feel them biting. With these shrimp, they kind of just hold it in their mouth. So once you feel that little bit extra weight, you might as well just take a swing. I missed two off camera. Throwing little pieces of mussels keep them around because the tide's going out. Every tog I got this year was on the outbound tide. Doesn't mean they're not chewing on the incoming tide, that just means I haven't caught any on the incoming. Only caught them on the outgoing and on the end of the outgoing. You know, like midway to the end of outgoing. We really want to hide that hook in there. Because they feel it and they spit it out. It happened to me a couple times already. Where I got hit and I just wasn't ready to set the hook and they were off. I'm anchored up here and it's still really hard for me to find that that little hole that these fish are hiding in. I'm shallow, I'm probably like six feet down. Spazzing out. That's a little, a little shorter than the other Fourteen inches, just short of fourteen. At least I know there's other fish down there. Seas picked up from the floor. My first bite in a long time. I don't know if I'm gonna keep using that 4K setting. The battery died in like 30 minutes. It's been like an hour since my last fish. The tide's all the way out now. The bite might be over. I really don't know what happened. Let's see if I can get anything on this fresh shrimp. And I also did see some bunker jumping, so maybe the bass was in the area. Black fish are afraid of bass. Bass is more black than about fishing than I do. I'm going to be out here.